In my talk, I would like to make four points which I find important for transplantation nowadays. First of all, although we transplant since more than 50 years, it is today largely neglected that's, that there's a huge variability in the transplant product we infuse into the patient, meaning that uh, we infuse between 500 and 50 million T cells, so one log difference, and people constantly, I would say, rather ignore this variability in the product. Although we know nowadays this might have a big impact on the outcome on the patients. I will discuss strategies how to fix this amount of immune cells in the product. Uh, and this includes, for example, medications like ATG, but this inclu includes also graft engineering. The second point I would like to make is that after transplantation, we need to create a scenario where a patient is free of graft versus host disease, which will allow to then infuse a DLI T cells into the patient based preferentially on MRD of the patient in order to better control leukemia. The next step, I think that's also the new hype, is that we also, in addition to this immune control of leukemia, we want to add additional drugs and we need to carefully consider which drugs need to be used or can be used uh, in the post-transplant setting and in contrast to the discussions which are nowadays in there that people discuss what is the right conditioning regimen which will allow to use these drugs afterwards, people should rather think about what is the right immune reconstitution we have at a certain time point when we use this drug because this is way much more important because the drugs we give to the patient after transplantation interacts with the immune system from the donor and has therefore either a better or a worse effect. The final point is that as a consequence of this, it's really a challenge to design good clinical trials to test these drugs in the post-trans setting. And uh, although large randomized trials are for sure the gold standard in defining new standards uh, in the field, I think given the huge variabilities we have, we need to be sometimes more modest and try to identify small, small smarter trials to rapidly progress in the field.